Well, after you've mapped out your controller the way that you want, it's time to set up some tracks and get ready to DJ. I've gone ahead and set up some cue points and mapped some of them to the last row of buttons on the block controller. So let's get ready to rock. As you can see, the MIDI functionality in Serato lends itself nicely to the block. With the amount of faders and buttons and knobs, you're really able to have nearly every parameter in Serato mapped to your controller, so you never have to touch your mouse. You can shuttle through the library, you can play with effects, you've got up to 24 sample loops you can trigger, you've got all your regular looping methods, you've got cue points, you've got pitch bin, you've got backwards, forwards, scroll through this, scroll through that. It's really just a, um, an incredible tool for anybody who's used to just using CDJs and Technics 1200s to control their Serato records. I'm telling you, I've really enjoyed playing with the MIDI controllers and I've done a number of gigs where I didn't want to lug out all the gear and this has been a perfect solution to mix multi-genre styles but that only really Serato lends itself the best to. I'm an Ableton guy but I really enjoy Serato's functionality and openness to the DJ party. You're really not that locked in as you are with Ableton. So I hope you guys liked it and check back again for another tutorial on how to use the Ohm 64 with Serato as well.